Right. And uh, I'm, putting, I'm putting the truth out there, I should say. And, and, you know, just let people be the judge. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. Girl, when I tell y'all that Cat Williams is determined to take Steve Harvey down, I am not messing around. He has been going back and forth trying to disrespect him, calling him a thief and all sorts of names. And with all that he has revealed about Steve, Steve, it kind of checks with whatever Steve's ex-wife Mary also exposed about him. Now Kat has been spilling the tea on Steve in the past couple of weeks but he is now putting his back into it big time because he has Mary out here also spilling the tea on Steve. Mary has had beef with Steve for the longest time and it looks like things are about to get worse from here so let's break down this drama. Steve has been in the news since the year started because of Cat Williams and his revelations and it doesn't look like things are going to get any better for him because his ex-wife Mary Harvey has declared support for Kat. Now before y'all come at Mary saying that she's a bitter ex or that she's purposely trying to start trouble for Steve, well I here to tell you that Mary has more than enough reason to be salty at Steve because he did her dirty big time and he almost ruined her life. Plus she was married to Steve during the time when he did the stuff that Kat accused him of doing so she has first-hand knowledge of the things that Steve did. For a refresher, Kat went on the Club Shay Shay podcast and he accused Steve of a lot of very interesting things like how he has been stealing Kat's jokes for years and then turning up years later to pass the jokes off as his own. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. Kat even claimed that Steve would pretend to attend his shows to support him, but in reality, he was just there to see how many of Kat's jokes he could steal and get away with. But that wasn't all because Kat also spilled about how Steve has been lying to fans for a long time with his grass to grace story. Now I know that Steve wasn't always rich but Kat claimed that Steve took it a little too far with the story of how he was living in his car and sleeping in parking lots because he was too broke to afford a place to live. I used to spend the night in hotel parking lots. What was I gonna do? I ain't had nowhere to stay so I lived in the car. I had $35 and I said come on God man I've been trying to make this dream come true you done left me out here like this. This is a story that Steve has told more times than I can count because he just can't seem to stop talking about it. I get it, it's a motivational story, but Kat called Steve out for BSing on this, saying that Steve never had to live in his car. Like what, whatever Kat said checks in with what Mary has been saying for all the years, including Steve lying about living in a car. When Mary met Steve in the 90s, he was a struggling comedian, but he pursued her so strongly that she soon fell in love with him. She wasn't after his money because well, there was no gold to dig. She held him down through hard times and she even gave him a key to her apartment in case he needed somewhere to crash between gigs. So the story of him living in his car, yeah, that doesn't make sense. After a while, his comedic career started to take off because fans started to queue up to watch his perform and the demand for him grew even stronger. Well, at that point, Steve was more than content with where his career was, but Mary pushed him to achieve more. When he started to get to a crazy level of popularity, she brought up the idea for him to start up his own club instead of performing at other clubs for just a cut of the fee so he would make more money for himself. But even though Steve was in high demand, he didn't have a lot of money because again, he was only getting a cut of the fee at the clubs he was performing at. So he couldn't afford to open a comedy club because those things aren't cheap. But Mary was the ultimate lover girl so she decided to pull her entire life savings into Steve at $250,000 of it. And she helped him to set up the comedy club. And it wasn't just money because she also poured her heart and soul into the club, helping him out with the interiors design and all that stuff. Things soon took off for Steve big time and he started making some serious money. That was also when he started to cheat on her heavily with a lot of women and allegedly his current wife Marjorie was one of those women. When I think about how quickly he moved forward from me to Marjorie, uh, that was 
disturbing. He finally divorced Mary and he moved on with Marjorie, but he did Mary dirty in the divorce. They got into a crazy legal battle, especially over custody of their son, Winton, who was a minor at the time. Mary claimed that Steve was aggressive toward him and she claimed that the divorce left her ruined because she lost everything, including her business and her cars, and she even got evicted from the home that she shared with Steve in the divorce. Even more, Steve never paid her the divorce settlement money that he was ordered to by the court. With all the emails and uh, the text messages and the different things that were um, that I was finding out about I thought the least that he could do make me whole at the end of it he he left he just left walked out the door once he realized that uh, I was going to divorce him. He walked out the door. He had a shoulder bag. He walked out. Went right to New York to our apartment that we had there, which I never got to see, by the way, but, and then she joined him there. Apart from being broke, she also claimed that Steve allegedly put hands on their son, Winton, and often left him with bruises. According to TMZ, according to the kid, Steve hit him with a belt and then a paddleboard, the kind used for hazing and fraternities. According to the police report, cops took photos of the boy's injuries, showing on his buttocks and right thigh, as well as cuts on his leg. The police report says the boy told cops that it was so brutal he had trouble urinating for days. CPS opened an investigation into him, but they dropped it because apparently there was no evidence that Steve meant harm to the boy. Mary then tried to sue for custody of Winston, but again, she was broke and couldn't afford lawyers. Steve then hit her with a custody lawsuit, and with his fancy lawyers, he was able to get sole custody of the boy. According to Mary, Steve then alienated her son from her. She claimed that he refused to let her speak to her son or see him. And even worse, he badmouthed her to her son and fed him so much negativity about her that her son started to hate her. So not only did Steve leave her broke, he also stole her son from her after she helped him build his career brick by brick and poured her entire life savings into his career. He took my Winton, took my Winton from me. He turned my son against me. So yeah, if there's one person who has all the smoke for Steve, it's Mary. And that's why she is now backing Cat up and slamming Steve. Fans had all the smoke for Steve and they said, based on the timelines and all the different information I've heard about Steve and his relationship history, he clearly used Mary to come up and had no intentions of staying with her permanently. Steve Dirty been dirty. And I actually had the honor to meet her and speak to her several times. She is a very kind woman who is deeply hurt by Steve. Everything hit her like a whirlwind from the marriage issue Issues to divorce to her son being taken and feels like she is not being heard. Yeah, it looks like Steve might be on his way down because this drama is not about to end anytime soon. Anywho, let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, then check out this next video.